This is the Defender Radio News Brief. I'm Michael Howey, and this is Defender Radio, the podcast for wildlife advocates and animal lovers. This special news brief is brought to you by the Defender Radio Patreon. Support Defender Radio for as little as $1 per month at patreon.com slash Defender Radio and help keep the fur bears producing the podcast. There are 417 national parks and historic sites in the United States National Park System, visited by more than 275 million people every year. Among those numbers is a power couple doing something pretty awesome. Sarah and Lucas Viakanik want to visit each and every park and site in the National Park System. And along the way, they want to share the stories of these remarkable places. But they don't want to write another travel guide. They want the real stories told by the people who spend their days and sometimes a good portion of their lives at these locations. That's why they started their new show, Podcasts with Park Rangers. Sarah and Lucas interview park rangers and share their wonderful, passionate stories about these incredible places, including a love of the flora and fauna of caves, the historical significance of individual locations, and more. The Via Canics joined Defender Radio to share their story about the stories, what listeners to this new podcast can expect to learn about national parks, what it's like RVing from park to park with their cats, and what makes these parks so special. This is a heavily edited version of our interview. The interview in its entirety will be released later this week at thefurbears.com, the iTunes store, and anywhere you listen to podcasts. You have a wonderful How We Met and Started Dating story that's shared in your blog. When did you two find your shared love of camping, hiking, and adventuring? Another early date of ours was a 10-day excursion to a number of national parks just north of where we were. And 10 days was probably a little too short, would you yeah. say? It's like we went to the Badlands National Park, Mount Rushmore, Devil's Tower, and we tried to do Yellowstone in like five days, which is probably like trying to do Banff in five days. Not really easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yellowstone is one of those national parks. It was the first national park. And for good reason, people spend lifetimes there just photographing through different seasons, uh, all the wildlife, all the thermal activity. It's just there's so much to see there. You could spend a lifetime, and we tried to do it in what about five days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, skipping ahead a bit, you decided that you wanted to visit all 417 national parks and historic sites, and you were able to leverage a hot housing market and job situation into an RV. How did you go from there and end up deciding to do a podcast? We wanted to launch, we wanted to explore all the sites, we wanted to figure out being entrepreneurs and working on the road. But the idea for a podcast kind of came up just from a few of the visits that we had to different national parks within Colorado while we were still rooted. We were seeing the passion that a lot of these park rangers had, the engagement that they had with the, with the park units that they were working at. And we were like, wouldn't it be really cool, this idea for doing a podcast with park rangers to kind of get those stories out, to build some awareness, certainly, but also just to kind of share what we had found, which is, which is a great love for the parks, for their history, for, uh, for the, the landscapes, um, and for the science that's being preserved in these, these special public lands. Now we have finally kind of been, the fire has been lit. You've interviewed several of the park rangers from various parks now. Would you say there's anything they have in common across the different parks and locations? By far, a lot of them want to be educators. They just didn't want to be educators in a traditional sense. Yeah, they didn't want to be in a classroom setting, which which you'll hear from the very first interview, but we've We've heard this message repeated with a lot of, in particular, interpretive rangers who have a love for the outdoors, uh, who uh, want to educate, who are, are very well-spoken in that manner, who want to really connect with, with kids as well as, as uh, adults who are curious. Uh, but then they, they want to do that in a setting like what the National Park Service offers which is going out and, and pointing to 
these amazing features and uh, and the wildlife and you know ev everything else that you find, which is a wide variety from park to park. It, it, that that part does vary quite a bit. Also, I think a lot of them grew up going to parks, so like that appreciation I think was already there. You can hear more about the Via Canix story on the next episode of Defender Radio, as the full interview will be released later this week. You can also head on over to podcastswithparkrangers.com or search for Podcasts with Park Rangers on the iTunes Store or anywhere else you listen to podcasts to check out their show. I've already subscribed. That's it for now, folks. Thanks for listening. And again, please remember you can support Defender Radio and help keep it going by becoming a patron for only $1 a month at patreon.com slash Defender Radio. Until next time, I'm Michael Howie for Defender Radio, reminding you to stay informed and stay strong. <laughs>